Good morning. It's 5 a.m. on Wednesday, August 28th, and I ran this morning. Last night before I went to sleep, I was overcome with all these thoughts and plans <laughs> on how I can fit a run in my morning. My sons aren't here. One of them, both of them are with my mom because um, she's babysitting them. Well, she's babysitting the baby. And because I have a professional development for work today, so she's dropping my oldest off at school. So last night I was home by myself, and this isn't the first time that I've had these thoughts of these plans that I could take. Plans of how I could fit a run into the evening, and how I could have, you know, my oldest ride his scooter and put the baby in the stroller and still fit in a run. And I'm not really sure why I feel so compelled to run, because... I've never been a runner, so to speak. I ran in high school, but that was track, and that was well over a decade ago. But something within me urges me to run. This isn't the first time that I've had these thoughts of these plans, but it is the first time that I've ever followed through. Typically, I have these thoughts and these plans before I go to sleep, and I'm, again, overcome with, this is exactly what I should do, this is exactly how I should do it, and then I go to sleep, and I wake up and I think of all the reasons and all the excuses that I don't want to do it. This morning, it was literally my hair. What am I going to do about my hair? What if I sweat it out? I was probably outside for a total of 10 minutes. I warmed up before my run for maybe five. Sweating out my hair and ruining my hair isn't even a realistic worry. But typically, I allow those worries to prevent me from following through with whatever plans my mind has so carefully and intricately created for me. And the plans make perfect sense. They're not wild, they're not outlandish. They make perfect sense. But rarely do I ever follow through. And then I realized this morning, after my run and I got home, I thought I, thought I should journal about this. And I went to sit down and journal and I thought about all of the things that I appreciated about my run this morning. First of all, I live in the desert, so we are still having days of 95 degrees, but this morning it was cool. And I love being outside when it's cool. I like being outside in the morning when it's cool. I like being outside late at night when it's cool. And I haven't been able to experience that because I haven't been waking up early enough. Plus the weather is starting to shift more towards fall-ish weather. So that's number one. I didn't take any music with me. I just took my phone and I took my keys. And I told myself, because my plan told me to, just run for five minutes. Warm your body up at home and just run consistently for five minutes. And I ran outside. I jogged. I wasn't running. And the entire time, I'm thinking to myself, just don't stop. Just don't stop. I set a timer on my phone for five minutes and my plan for the entire five minutes was just to keep jogging for the five minutes. Just don't stop. I know your body's getting tired, kind of. I know you feel like you're burning, your throat is on fire because you've been breathing through your mouth and you're starting to feel some of that warmth in your throat. Just don't stop. And so I continued, and that was the only thing that I thought the entire time was just don't stop. Don't stop jogging until that timer goes off. And I realized how much of a commitment I made to myself the night before those mental plans that I was making was me preparing to follow through and not betray myself because not following through on those previous plans was more ways that I was betraying myself because typically what happens, right? Life starts lifing, right? You're home with your kids, you're home after work, and you might have that thought pop into your mind like, oh my gosh, a run would be amazing right now. It would get me out the house, it would get the kids out the house. We could just be outside. But the plan for that run is not it's not in your mind at the moment because you're in what are we having for dinner is homework done am I prepared for the next day what do I need to do here in the house 
to, you know, finish up for tonight. So having that clarity last night where my mind was empty and open because the children weren't home and I was, you know, doing work and I was doing homework and I was doing all kinds of other stuff before I laid down to go to sleep. But before I went to sleep, I started reading and I finished this book that I've been reading for the past couple of weeks. And that's the first tangible hardcover book that I've finished think in my adult life and I told myself when I started reading that book again that I was going to finish it and it's only like 250 pages not a long book and I didn't read it every day but I followed through to that commitment to myself I felt compelled to share this in a video because I had too much to say to write it down and I knew if I journaled it would make my hand hurt so if you watch this the message that I just want to share with you is follow through. Just do the thing. Fight back those thoughts that are making excuses for you as to why you can't do things because you can do them. All you have to do is move. Just take the action. Take the step. Because as soon as you take that step, whatever thoughts that you were, that you, whatever thoughts you were having, that were trying so hard to convince you that you couldn't do the thing will diminish. As soon as I made the decision that my hair was no longer an obstacle and put on some pants, <clears throat> went to the front of my house, did some warm up movements, hopped on YouTube, found a YouTube short of five movements I could do to warm up my body before a run. Who knows if they're good? It really doesn't matter. <laughs> the key was just to bring some warmth to my body before I stepped outside. And as soon as I started taking those steps and moving forward, instead of sitting and not moving and continuing to allow those thoughts to circulate and to build, everything was good. And so I'm realizing on this current leg or session or step of my journey that the most important thing for me and maybe for you too is to do the thing. To follow through with the thoughts that I've been having, although they may seem random, I know they're beneficial. There's nothing that wouldn't benefit me about a run in the morning by myself outside. It's meditative. It's great for my body. It's great for, your ener for my energy. It was a great start to my day and it brought me to this clarity. So I really, really, really wanted to share this because it just needed to be said. It just needed to be said. That's all. Have a good day.